In 2019, guys, Kia came out with uh, one of its most popular cars ever had, the Kia Telluride. Uh, it was a 2020 year model year, and since it came on onto lots, it's been hard to keep in stock. Dealers have been throwing these out to customers as quick as they can, and in 2023, they did a, a pretty significant refresh of the interior dashboard, and you get some new styling, but out, outside it looks pretty similar other than some new headlights, some new wheel designs. So this is a 2024 Kia Telluride. This is the S trim. S trim falls kind of on the low, the lower uh, end of the spectrum for the trims. Usually EX and SX are their most popular trims with their X line uh, derivatives as well. But this is the S trim. And I gotta tell you, it's pretty well appointed for being one of the lower trims. I'm still pretty impressed with this car. Um, it's got a lot of really cool features and a lot of the features that you, you need, not necessarily all the features that you'd want. Uh, this one comes in a gray color. Probably not the color I'd choose, but it looks really nice. You got these wheels, really nice wheels. You got these machine look uh, accents. But let's take a walk around this car. I'll show you what it has to offer, things I like, maybe find some things that we don't like, um, and we can explore it together. So this will be a quick walk around. We'll take it for a test drive. So let's get into it. All right, let's talk a little bit about this motor. This is gonna be a 3.8 liter naturally aspirated V6, 291 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. It's made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission. It's gonna get you, uh, in the rear wheel drive model, you're gonna get 20 cities, 26 highway, 22 combined. All wheel drive's gonna get you 18 city, 24 highway, 20 combined. It's good for towing 5,000 pounds. And uh, the all wheel drive version's also gonna give you an uh, automatic locking rear differential or a center locking rear differential. So let's take a quick walk around the outside of this car. Right off the bat, this car has always been known to have unique styling. It very closely mimics that of a Land Rover or a Range Rover, one of those vehicles from that company, um, but at a much more affordable price. Clean lines, boxy look, gives you good space on the interior to have the boxy uh, cabin, and then Kia has taken the uh, styling to an extreme with some really uh, extreme wheel styles on all these vehicles and then some good accents. So walking around it, good clean lines, full LED lights, um, new Kia badge there on the back. I really like how uh, this car looks on the profile as well as in uh, on both front and the rear. Just good, good styling. There's a reason that it's sold and been so popular since it came out in 2020 uh, or 2019 for the 2020 model year. One of the styling things that's changed with the changed in 2023 were your headlights. You used to have a orange DRL there in that housing. It's now two vertical um, DRLs. I, I like the change. I think it looks good. You've got a couple of vents. These are functional vents down here. Big grill, got kind of that honeycomb look on the front and then some uh, metallic accents. All these trims, so when you get into that EX trim and above, you start to get what's called an X-Line option and then you have the X, uh, X Pro, which are meant to be more oriented towards off-roading. They give you a 0.4, they go from eight inches of ground clearance to 8.4 inches of ground clearance on those models. Um, and you get a little bit more aggressive styling, but you also get a blacked out look. So all this chrome that you see becomes blacked out. And I think, honestly, if I were to pick one, that I was gonna take home. It'd be an X-Line or an X-Pro model with the blacked out trim. On the wheels, we've got 
245 rather, 50 R20s. And then you've got these nice machined wheels. Like I said, Kia has been kind of going extreme with their wheel designs, making a statement, and I, I think it looks pretty good. This one comes with the chrome finish handles, keyless entry, so you can push this, put your hand behind it, lock and unlock. Even on this S model, it comes with that. Turn signals in the mirrors. It's very well appointed, even on the, the lower trims. Now, the upper trims, when you get into the X line as well, you get a auto leveling rear suspension. However, all models do get a uh, four wheel independent suspension standard, which is pretty nice. It rides really nice. We've driven around a little bit today and uh, it rides really nice. It's a good riding car. So let's get a look at the interior and then we'll take it for a quick drive. All right, guys, so I just want to give you a little disclaimer on this video. First off, thank you for coming and watching. Okay, I appreciate you. I'm trying to uh, become a creator, trying to learn as I go. And uh, I think the hardest part about being an automotive journalist is getting hold of cars. So this video that you're watching, um, specifically, I went and just test drove a car. They gave me a time limit of 20 minutes, and that's not a lot of time to make a quality video. So as you can tell in the video, what you're about to see now is the interior of the car and then our drive, and they got cut really short. I apologize. The, this video is not really up to my standard as in what I want to be as a journalist. So watch. There's a... There is good content left, but uh, please have patience with me as I continue to grow as a, as a creator. And please like and subscribe this video so that I can be able to, to make more videos and, and get to where um, I can bring you more content. But anyways, just wanted to let you know, this is not, this is not what I uh, anticipated this video being. Anyways, my name is Preston. Enjoy the rest of the video. We will talk to you. Uh, later and hopefully we'll see you on a, a future video. So thank you guys And into the rear here Pretty decent store. I mean, it's this is still not a full-size three-row SUV, but you got under the under the floor storage a little decent amount there Easy flip down seats so no power seats, but you can uh, press these buttons and it will flip down your second row seats, but not on the third, and then to lift them back up. Just pull this lever, comes back up, 60-40 split. Good layout, good space. Other options, you get power tailgates. This one does not come with a power tailgate. And then coming into the back seat, flip this back up manually, manual controls. Push that button, slide it forward, pretty decent space. This is not a seat where an adult wants to spend a lot of time, but could do for quick, quick journey and uh, certainly for kids. Captain seats, most trims come only with the option for captain seats, but um, some of the lower trims do get an option for eight passenger seating good this seat set for my driving 58 great leg room good headroom here up here and uh yeah it's a comfy seat back the back seat's a good place to be a couple cup holders 12 volt down below in the seats you got usb-c plugs that you can utilize. It's a good place. Front seat, you got that nice panoramic uh, screen in the front. Physical buttons, which I really like. Shifter, a couple cup holders. You got your uh, mode select here. 
where you can change modes, drive modes, and uh, electronic parking brake there. So let's pop, let's pop up there real quick. Popping in the front seat. Got this nice infotainment system, two 12.4 inch screens. The way they're set up though, makes it look like one massive panoramic screen here. No home link in this one, but you've got a sunglass holder up top. Not a huge sunroof. It's not panoramic in this model, but I'm not much of a sunroof guy, so. Good visibility out the front. So yeah. Take it for a quick spin here. And then we gotta get this back to the dealer. Good visibility over my shoulder. You can, you can see that the, the posts do definitely play a little bit into it. But good visibility out the front. Get it over here real quick, kick it up, kick the acceleration a little bit and see what it does. And we gotta head back. So for a naturally naturally aspirated motor, it's it's alright. It's I think everybody would love for Kia to put a uh, turbo on this motor. You know the EV9 just came out with a hybrid or a uh, all electric motor rather. And uh I think people would love to see the Telluride get a little bit of a boost in performance, but for a family get around town car, it does really well. It's a comfy car, it rides nice, pretty quiet in here, and uh, pretty happy with this car. Seats are comfortable, good bolstering. They fit a guy like me, a little bit bigger size, pretty well, and so no complaints there all right guys let's wrap up this video i gotta get this car back to the dealer so kia tell you right 2024 pretty happy with this car it's comfy it's fun to drive it's good family vehicle it'll get your family to and from around town really easy and uh, you'll enjoy driving this car for a low level model in the s trim a lot of features, very comfortable. This doesn't have cooled seats, does have heated seats, good AC, and it's a comfy ride. So if you're looking for a vehicle for your family, don't discount the Telluride. If you can find one, go out and get it. Um, take it for a drive. Even this S trim is really, really well appointed, really comfortable, and it rides well. So it's Preston, Preston Go Auto. I appreciate your time. Please come back and see me again. We'll see you soon.